And away they go in the LA France. Apache fighter broke out well. Rarotonga Rose is there. Opera Glass is up with the vanguard. And they follow by flying first class. A few lengths off the leader. United Council is racing behind that. Crimson Princess is further back in the field now. About six or seven lengths from the leader as they move their way towards the 1800. Ballroom Bliss. Quiet Rebellion's further back in the field. And Black Silver must have stood because it's ten lengths behind the second last horse as they travel along now and they make their way towards the 1600 metre area. Opera Glass in front leads the way and she's got it a length over Apache Fighter who's in a handy second. Then they're three more lengths away to flying first class behind that. United Council goes past it. Rarotonga Rose is further back in the field. Ballroom Bliss runs behind those. Crimson Princess is seven, eight lengths off the leader. They're being followed uh, further back in the field right now by Quiet Rebellion behind that lot and Black Silver is uh, trying to make up the ground as about five links behind the second last horse. They move now through towards the 1,000 metre marker and opera glass in front and a steady the pace has the lead by a length and a bit. Apache Fighter is still clinging on to that uh, second position. They followed by United Council behind that. Flying first class is back there at the rail. Rarotonga Rose. Ballroom Bliss they five or six lengths from the leader. Quite Rebellion further back in the field. Crimson Princess is about eight lengths off the leader as well and Black Silver at the back of the field. So they slowed it down as they move into the strip. Now they have about uh, 650 metres left to go. Opera Glass is the leader. Apache Fighter is on its outside. Flying first class, two or three lengths off the leader. United Council, Ballroom Bliss and Rarotonga Rose, they four or five lengths off the leader. Crimson Princess is looking to go through towards the inside. Quite Rebellion is also looking to move up between runners as Apache Fighter looks to come through and pick it up as they go past the two Opera Glass, Quiet Rebellion there, Rarotonga Rose, United Council is also getting going, Apache Fight to Opera Glass, Quiet Rebellion, it's wide open. Now in the closing stages, Apache, Apache Fighter on the outside, Quiet Rebellion, they go to the line together, the two of them, Apache Fight to be Quiet Rebellion, Opera Glass and United Council. This is Quiet Rebellion, which is in the middle with those black and white colours. Seem to be moving well. Apache Fighter goes for home with it. Remember, well placed. She was, as they turned for home, back in that second pos position, but then hung to the outside. She comes to the outside of the track with. Mamuzi got the stick in the right hand, but she's persevering and she's staying on, and it does end up a good race right down to the wire. That's the seventh from Turfentine. All right, yeah, that was a very good race to watch. I'm just having a look at uh, number seven, Apache Fighter. Gutsy performance today. I thought an excellent ride from Muzi Yeni. Of course, a big well done to the Robinsons. They bred this individual as well. And um, well done to Roy Magna. We got Casey at hand doing duty for the stable. And um, Cherry Ripe, third run after the rest. 28 to 10, looked to be a good price. Uh, Muzi, I thought a good ride from you because um, you came out the gates rocking and rolling. You had some nice cover in the early parts, and you know her well. I watched you closely, top of the lane. You wanted to get rolling early, and she just kept plugging away all the way to the line. Yes, uh, last time, the first run was a fabulous run. Uh, came out fresh, had the pace, and next time at 1800 at the wall, I know it's a little bit of a short distance for her, but she didn't come out as well, and was never quite aggressive, you know, and all the way down the lane running in snatches. So today was always going to be a positive ride, and I know Gavin was probably going to look and the first corner at the at the probably the 1100 looking to bring it back and this filly can't, can't slow and sprint and so I like, decided to give her room like you said and from there I picked it up a bit early she still wonders when she hits the front a bit early but uh, always felt in control further they go moves probably even better for her yes probably definitely definitely I just think uh, obviously a little uh, I think last time in those gold cup races the races were a bit on top of each other and uh, she didn't fire but she's come back fresh and Second, second, and a winner who can't, who can't complain. 
If I can just ask you that um, running towards the outside fence, is that more looking for company? Is that just her moves? Yeah, she does like to run out. So you saw at the vault when Gavin beat me on her, she does look to turn favor to run out. But you're not going to stop us having a full stride and was happy to run out. And as long as it's going forward, I was happy with that. I know it was a frustra frustrating day for you yesterday in PE moves, a few seconds, a few thirds. But I mean, these days you'll take every winner that comes your way and you're riding very well. Keep it up. Thank you very much. It was frustrating. You, you. I know uh, Malaysia was a great run, especially with the breaks in between his run. But I did expect a bit more. But we're on the board now, so we can't complain. Well done, Moose. Uh, thank you very much. Uh, well done to the whole yard, Magnus Yard, Casey for holding the reins. Uh, great team effort. They always looked impeccable in the ring. And uh, obviously to Mr. Stewart and Gavin, thanks for supporting the yard. Congratulations. Thank there you. To Stone Stamco, thank you. There we go. Well done to Muzi Yeni. Great to have him in the winner's box. Well done, Case. Good to see you as always. And um, obviously a horse that you know very well back at home. She's a lovely looking individual and uh, all heart at the end of it. Yeah, thank you, Brian. She's um, she's not the easiest of filly, and Muzi really gets along well with her. A great ride from him, a never say die ride. You know, she's not the easiest to get going. Takes a bit of time to unwind, but fantastic ride and fantastic run from Apache. She's done Mr. Robinson and Gavin Robinson so well. You know, they bred her, so it's nice to have these home breeds that come out and win a few features and keep plugging away. Well, Casey, what sort of game plan? I mean, we'll obviously leave that for the boss because he would have mapped out a program. But um, the staying race is coming up on the high felt, even with a bit of rain. That's going to help her. Yeah, definitely so. Um, I'm sure she's looking for about a 2-4, so we'll look at what's to come. I think the Java is the next race to come for her, but that is a mixed company, so we'll just have to look at the program. But big well done to Mr. Magna. Back to Melech. You happy with the way he's pulled up? Yeah, pulled up well. He was going to always need the run. He's a bit chunky. Um, he's in the charity mile, in the noms for the charity mile, which is in two weeks' time, so this run would have just brought him along nicely. Well, Casey, thanks very much for the transparency as always. I know you're always forthcoming with your comments. And well done, Obia. Please send our warm regards and love to the boss. I will do so. Thank you so much. There we go. That's Casey. Good to have her at the races this afternoon. And um, yeah, they were upbeat that Apache fighter would be hard to beat today. Last word from the winning groom. Come a little bit closer, please, sir. Uh, congratulations to you. I know that uh, she's been an absolute joy for you because every time she comes to the course, she keeps earning. And um, today she's got it right. So you're going to get 1,500 Rand. Yeah, I want to thank to my jockey and uh, I am assistant. This is the first time to collect my voucher today, so I want to. You are happy. Me. Well, you know what? You're going to get a lot more based on today's run. So well done. Keep up the good work. Yeah, I am happy today. Super stuff. There we go. 1,500 rand from World Sports Betting. And um, they'll be very happy with that performance from Apache Fighter. She now becomes a four-time winner from 16 starts. Congratulations to all concerned. We really thought that this was one of the better bets on the card, as you heard from Nico but earlier on. When you opened up the card, you had a good look at her form. Third run after the rest, cherry ripe. And I uh, see the bookmakers were kind enough to let her go to 28 to 10. All right, racing continues. Horses already walking into the parade ring for the next race. I'll get you back to the studio.